Well, good evening. Count it, it's all there. You know, I really gotta ask, are you 100% sure that you wanna do this? My mind is made up. I can't go on like this. She's cold, controlling, condescending. I couldn't leave though, because I'd lose everything, but I'd rather burn in hell. Okay, all right. I just want to let you know, once it's done, it cannot be undone. I am aware of that. And you can't do this yourself? I've told you, I tried. I lose my nerve every time. Here, let me tell you a story. In the days of old, when kings ruled the earth, there was a young shepherd boy who tended his father's flock. One day, the prophet came out of the wilderness, out of his dwelling, went into the village, and sought the family of this young boy. Okay, all right, I just need it done, okay? All right, then, let's just go through this once more. At 6.05, I ring the doorbell. Single shot to the head, execution style. Yes. Okay, okay. Just quickly and painlessly. Thy will be done. Everything okay? Where did everything go wrong? She's all I have. I couldn't live with myself. It's me. I'll get this. So, as I was saying before I was so impolitely interrupted, thus the prophet journeyed with the sole purpose of entering a certain village, finding a specific family and anointing the great warrior. Who would gain the people's favor and assume his rightful place on the throne as ruler and king of the land. As the ancient storyline goes, one of the three main motives for murder has to do with the obsession of power.